be making basics. What's good YouTube, Beat Making Basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up and comment on the video if you like the content. Without further ado, let's jump into today's video. Um, now today we're actually gonna be doing a uh, subscriber slash viewer topic. We have OG Owens here. He said, can you show us how to uh, start getting plugins? Like what plugins are more important for beginners who have nothing, right? Okay, bet. So let's go ahead and go over that. Um, if I was just getting started, right? Just getting started, I'm gonna show you the top plugins that I would recommend investing into, okay? Um, the first plugin that I'm gonna say that you should do or get is a plugin called, um, first off, let me put this right here on solo. It's a plugin called MV2, okay? It's made by Waves. And this is kind of like a, uh, this is a compressor, all right? What this MV2 plugin does is it really like will boost the level of your like songs, samples, whatever. It could, you could put it on instruments, you could put it on, you know, melody tracks, and it boosts it in a way where it doesn't sound over compressed because you can control how much of the highs that you boost and how much of the lows you boost. So I'm gonna give you an example. I'm actually gonna play this uh, melody. I'm gonna let you hear the melody without it and then I'm gonna let you hear it with it. All right, so that's a dope melody, but let's say if it, you feel like it's a little too soft or whatever, right? What you could do is you could push the highs up a little bit, bring that down like this and bring the lows up maybe some, and now let's listen to it. You know, it helps out a whole lot. Um, like, again, you could put this on your melodies. You don't have to put it on everything. But, like, say if a melody or something is low, super low in the mix, and you want to bring it up to the front, forefront a little bit, you can put that plug-in on it, and it really helps out a lot. Um, another plug-in I would recommend getting is um, Smack Attack, okay? Smack Attack. Smack Attack is a crazy plug-in. Um, let's say if you want to put this on like your clap, right, or your kick or whatever, you can put it on any drums and it's really going to make them punch. Um, so this is another plugin you can get from Waves. All right. And um, I use this a lot. You know, what I mean, it saves time. Um, some people, there's, there's something called parallel compression. All right. And I don't want to get too far into what parallel compression is, but basically from what i see smack attack kind of mimics that a little bit and also it just it just boosts up the signal a whole lot more and makes it punch so let's say if we want to put smack attack on this clap i'm gonna let you hear the clap uh before without and actually the clap is already popping but let's just say if we want to you know boost it some more so it's a, it's a pretty solid clap but if you wanted to boost that up some more and make it stand out more in the mix, you can put this smack attack on it and turn the attack up a little bit and maybe to the sustain down some. And now let's listen to it. And even looking over here at the metering, you can see that it, you know, boosted that signal up. You can boost it even more. You know, it just helps out when it comes to making everything punch. So especially if you're just getting started, you don't have a whole lot of um, extra sounds and different things like that. Maybe you're using some certain stock stuff. You know what I mean? This would really help out a whole lot, okay? Um, now let's go for another plugin that I really, really, really recommend that you use as well. Um, this plugin is actually going to be a reverb. Um, this reverb plugin is actually an industry standard plugin, and I definitely recommend it. It's called Valhalla Room. And this makes the sound just so spicy, so nice. I wouldn't say spicy, but it gives something a, a good vibe to things, and you can actually make uh, your beat sound a different, like a whole nother level with this. So this is how it works. You got you know your decay, which will make the uh, reverb extend out and 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 hover over for a long time, or you got this pre-day, which you can turn to low. You can put a high 
um, you can do a high cut on the delay or a low cut on the delay, which means you can make the de the uh, not the delay, but make the uh, reverb sound muddy or make it sound real crisp and clear. You can do depth. You can add it to the mix a little bit, and then it has all these different options that you can use. Usually, when I'm using this, what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and play this melody right here, and I'll show you stuff that I'll do on it. Compared to this. This does a whole lot more to the beat. Um, and then you want to use this sparingly. You know, don't put it on every single instrument track when you're using this. Just maybe find one instrument that you really like and you want to highlight. Throw that uh, Valhalla room on it, man, and, and adjust it. I'm telling you, bro, that's going to really be a solid plug-in to use. Now, let's talk about the EQ. Um, a lot of people might recommend certain EQs. Honestly, the stock EQ in Logic Pro 10 is just fine. I like the fact that it has a lot of different options for you to visually see um, the frequency ranges and everything like that. You can actually push this analyzer right here and, like, you can push play on this and it will show you where the frequencies are hitting. And that helps out just to see, all right, maybe, maybe if I need to cut some lows, cut, cut, add some highs, different things like that. So use that stock EQ. And another secret joint that I would recommend doing if you're a new producer um, you know, I wouldn't say a secret, you know, a lot of people kind of know, know about this, but if you're brand new, go to cable guys, like search cable guys and get their halftime plug in. All right. This can add a whole lot of sauce to your melodies and different things like that. Get, give you some good variations throughout your beats. So this is, this is with the plug in. This is without the plug in. And this is with the plug in. And you can you can select different things. You can come over here and maybe just have this going just to certain frequencies. You can mix it in. There's so many options that you can do just with this one plug-in. Definitely recommend it. It's a definite go-to, man, like on certain occasions. Another thing that I'm going to recommend that you get, I think this actually is a free plug-in. It's by Isotope. It's called Vinyl. And you can just get this because it's going to add a lot of dopeness to um, your tracks. Let me turn down some of this stuff like this dust, this wear. Um, one thing that I really like is this warp. What that does, it kind of detunes. Um, anything that you have here on this and you just push that up and just check this out and then you can select different options here takes a little of the highs out I mean the uh, lows out keep going all the way to the 2000s and gets everything you can you can add like some um, white noise and different things Basically, give you that 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 uh, record feel, man. So that's a free plugin that you could use. That I think it's pretty dope. You can put it on your beats and use it sparingly on certain aspects, and you know, really will make things jump out and um, stand out from the rest, man. But those are my plugins that I would recommend that you do use. Another thing that I would say, um, last and last but not least. And this is a shameless plug here. There's a plugin actually, which is a VST. It's called Octave Deluxe. Okay, like if you're brand new, say you have about seventy bucks or a hundred dollars, you can get a couple of these plugins. Make sure you get this one too. 
All right, Octo Deluxe comes with a bunch of different sounds, and these sounds mainly are um, geared towards like hip hop, pop, urban type of genres. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you can come over here. Let's see. Oh, I got to solo that joint. <laughs> Got a lot of cool things you can do on here. You can add vinyl to it. Filters. So you, you, you know there's a lot of options here. It's a low lo-fi guitar right here. And this plugin is cool because you don't even need some other plugins. Like for instance, say if you wanted to make all your beats just using Octave Deluxe, you could actually skip out on using um, or buying the Valhalla Room because you got a good reverb right here. You could skip out on downloading that vinyl plugin because you have this vinyl depth which is like warp. You dig what I'm saying? And even this can boost the sound of the uh, of the notes. Or make it kind of sound like glide-ish. You can make a glide vibe to it. There's a lot you can do to it, man. Um, you can even change the, the filter type. And the best thing about this, too, is you can actually save these um, new sounds like you can come in here and manipulate the sound and then save it. Just go over here to manual, click save as, and then aim it, and boom, you got a saved plugin or saved preset of a sound that you know that wasn't necessarily there before. Yeah, y'all, pretty much that's the video. If you want to um, download any of these plugins, all you got to do is just watch the video again and just look those plugins up on Google. So Google Valhalla Room, Google Octave Deluxe, Google MV2, Google, um, you know, Smack Attack, all the plugins I named. Just Google them, man. It'll pop right up. Make sure you get them actually from the source. And, you know, don't try to, you know, steal them for free and all that good stuff, man. Also, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. Add me to, you know, social media and everything like that. Visit my links, whatever it is. If you have questions, ask in the comments. Anyway, y'all, we're out. Thank you so much. Can't wait to see you in the next video.